यू एस क्रूड हैज सीन अ गुड ड्रॉप यूर स्टडे वाइल एन जी हैज बाउंस बैक एंड अगेन ट्रेडिंग अबो एट डॉलर लेवल्स ना वट इज गोइंग टू एपन टूडे विच पोजिशन वी शुड टेक इन ऑर्डर टू मेक प्रॉफिट वी विल सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ कैंडलिस्टिक चार्ट एंड इंडिकेटर्स डो नॉट फॉर गेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट डो नॉट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन फर्स्ट वी लुक इन टू यू एस क्रूड फॉलो विद एन जी लेट स्टार्ट द डे and yes do was the other analysis is there and that is why press the bell icon now look at the hourly charts taking the support from 90 dollar level see 90 dollars very strong support i have always maintained first zone is 9495 then next zone is 9092 so this zone anyways you have to be watchful of now see with the support at 1990 it is trying to reverse because it is oversold and it is trying to retrace back how far it can retrace it can again come back to see if you see it trading beyond 91 then yes you can expect that first target is 91.4 and then it may try to hit 92 dollar levels very strong resistance 93 the next strong resistance very strong resistance at 93 exist directional movement extremely bearish stochastic is looking upwards the macd is trying to converge here on the early charts rsi is near to bottom trying to look upwards now look at the 2 hour charts taking the support this is the flat bottom support at 90 dollar levels also it is the bottom of the bollinger bands look at the steps it is rising and yes this is a beautiful ladder it is formed and now one strong push will come which might try to take it till towards 92 levels and in fact 90 Three levels can be expected. Very strong resistance at 93 exists, and then 93.8. So with the with the support at 90 dollars, yes, you can stay long till the time it trades above 90 dollars. We can again expect it to come back to 92 at least, and then 93. Directional movement bearish. Stochastic oversold. Now looking upwards. MACD is bearish, trying to converge. RSI is near to bottom. And if you look at the three hour charts, similarly on the three hour charts. it is indicating a reversal probably once it trades beyond 91.2 you can expect 91.4 and 92 dollar level see 92 is again a very strong resistance and then in fact we can see it hitting 93 which is a very strong sub resistance zone now so for the day you have to be watchful of 93 dollar levels directional movement bearish stochastic oversold macd is bearish it is just crossed over four candles back and it is still trading in the sell side RSI near to bottom on the 4 hour chart similar is the story it has got its support here three candles taking the support at 90 dollars now looking forward to a rise i will at least look forward to 91.8 92 then 93 and then on the 4 hour chart it's 94 dollar level so see every dollar it counts and hence it may look forward to at least achieve 92 then 93 and then 94 levels which is a very strong support resistance zone Directional movement bearish. Stochastic is oversold. MACD is wide divergent and bearish. RSI is near to bottom. Now look at the daily charts here. See the new candle is yet to start. However, look at these candles. See this time it has given a breakout. It was trading higher highs and it was giving you almost higher lows and now it has given a breakout. So yes, I think even if it tries to rise in the next candle, definitely I'll be watchful of. 91.8 92 and 93 94 these level at 93 and 94 even if it breaks 93 94 should not be breached today if it breaks beyond 93 then 94 then then it, you should consider this as reversal else look at this after this green candle this is the first red candle and hence we can expect that even if it closes somewhere here at above 92 then the next candle will again try to bring it further down hence you have to be cautious yes it can rise till 92 and 93 levels but the next candle will decides it uh the future of this us crude and possibly achieving the high at 92 and 93 it can again drop when the next candle starts so you have to be very cautious there directional movement is bearish stochastic is oversold the macd has just crossed over this is the first red candle here hence i expect that it may sustain it RSI is looking downwards considering this yes you can go long with the stop loss at 19 90 dollar levels above 90 my target is 91.8 and 92 beyond that it will hit 93 and then 94 till the time it trades below 94 remember it can reverse any point of time i am repeating it again till the time it trades below 94 one can expect that it can again drop 
and hence if you are long with the stop loss at $90 levels you have to keep shifting your stop loss to your entry price and once the entry price is achieved and the first milestone is achieved book some of your profits or keep a trailing stop loss so that it can keep trailing if it is continuing the movement in your direction and also you can keep shifting the stop loss to your first milestones manually so that in order of in in case of a reversal at least those profits are safeguarded so little by little you can increase the wealth and hence you have to trade accordingly any drop below 90 dollar levels go short till the time it is above 90 dollar levels i will not ask you to go short below 90 dollar levels 89.2 and 88 dollar levels are you have to be watchful of below 88 yes a strong drop will come which might take it till towards 86.7 86.8 levels and then in next week you can expect 80 dollar level so take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at NG. see ng has now taken the support at 8.2 which is a good support for it to sustain if it breaks below 8.2 then there is no option but to go short and then you can expect 8.1 and 8 dollar levels 8 dollar levels i will again maintain as a strong support see this is a liquidity gap it was a strong bullish single line candle and this is a very strong candle some point of the time if not today or tomorrow it may get it may get achieved and it may get nullified then yes you can you are right you can expect in the near future that it may come back to 7.8 but let's be observant there do not short anything till the time it is trading below beyond 8.2 bullish there the directional moment the stock is looking downwards the MACD is extremely bullish here and hence you can expect a conversion there and probably it may cross over for a sell yes below 8.2 you can go short rsi is near to top if you look at the two hour chart similar is the observation only long entry only long entry is above 8.3 levels if you see it trading beyond 8.3 go long and then you can expect it to rise below 8.2 my next target is 8.1 and 8 levels directional movement bullish stock is is overbought looking downwards MACD is extremely bullish on the two hour charts it must start to converge and hence a little drop can be expected rsi trading flat on the three hour charts similar is the story on the three hour charts it is giving you lower highs and this is the first red candle the support there at 8.2 as is strong and below that yes the support will come into picture at 8.02 and 8 dollar levels be watchful till there below that you can expect it to come back to 7.9 and 7.85 levels directional movement is bullish the stock is is near to overbought the macd has just crossed over it is wide divergent and bullish and it is still got some scope for it to rise rsi is near to top and trading flat now look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts lower highs lower lows any breakout beyond this zone at 8.3 yes you can go long again then 8.4 and then 8.6 levels will come into picture right now if you look at the four hour chart there is a strong resistance at this zone directional movement is bullish the stock stick is near to top the macd has just crossed over three candles back it is divergent and it is still bullish rsi is trading flat and if you look at the daily chart see the on the daily chart the daily candle is yet to form higher highs lower lows now pivot is at around eight dollar levels hence you may see it coming once to 8.1 or eight dollar levels and then a bounce back can be expected the new candle is yes to start on the ups be watchful of 8.5 8.6 zone so in some and on the downside eight dollar levels is a support then 7.8 is going to give it the 7.85 7.8 is going to give it a strong support bullish is the directional moment stochastic was oversold and hence we can see a bounce back the macd was in green it is on the verge of a crossover it is still not on the sell rsi is looking upwards considering this only long entry is above 8.32 only short entry is below 8.2 below 8.2 yes it can drop till towards 8.05 8.02 and 8 dollar levels and if it breaks below you can expect 7.92 and 7.8 levels and yes remember it can achieve 8 dollar levels once but it may bounce back from there till the time it trades above 8 dollar levels i will still consider that as a bullish move and then you can expect a reversal where one can expect it to hit 8.4 again and then 8.6 levels again so take your trades accordingly 
एंड कीप शिफ्टिंग योर स्टॉप लॉस टू कॉस्ट ज्वाइन माई मेंटरशिप बैच फॉर मोर स्ट्रेटेजीज एंड मेथोडोलॉजीज एंड विच विल हेल्प यू बिकम अ प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडर रीच आउट टू मी फॉर मोर डिटेल्स माई टेलीग्राम एंड ई मेल आई डीज आई मैंशन इन द चैनल एंड वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन थैंक यू वेरी मच हैव ए ग्रेट प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग डे है